Good day ladies and gents, my name is Helzo, I'm Disgusting and we're back with more developments from Ubisoft and the whole situation with Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'm quickly going to start with the statement that Ubisoft posted a few days ago and to summarize it a little bit, they posted an update with some form of damage control that they tried to make for all the backlash that they received against Assassin's Creed Shadows and the representation of Japan, especially with Yasu and the misrepresentation of Japanese culture, buildings and everything that all the people have talked about in recent posts. So the statement in English states to our esteemed Japanese community a message from the Assassin's Creed Shadows development team. First we want to express our heartfelt Heartfelt thanks to all your support for the Assassin's Creed series, which now has its own history spanning almost 20 years. Over this time, we have explored various settings, time periods, and characters from Assassin's during the Third Crusade to a Viking in the 9th century England and countless more. For many of our team, creating an Assassin's Creed game set in feudal Japan has been a long cherished dream. Yeah, sold to the every person who played Assassin's Creed for over a decade. Since the announcement of Assassin's Creed Shadows, we have received many positive reactions, but also some criticism, including from you, our Japanese players. We share your passion for history and deeply respect your care for the historical and cultural integrity of your rich heritage. No, you didn't. You didn't respect it when you made the game. We would like to address a few points to clarify our intentions and creative decisions. And this is where the apology begins. We have put significant effort into ensuring an immersive and respectful representation of feudal Japan. No, you didn't. You put Chinese buildings, you misplaced people, you misplaced shrines, you misplaced even plants. So you didn't do a very good job. However, our intention has never been to present any of our Assassin's Creed games, including Assassin's Creed Shadows, as factual representations of history of historical characters. Instead, we aim to spark curiosity and encourage players to explore and learn more about the historical settings we get inspired by. And if I remember correctly, there was a article from... Famitsu, which was, I think, a podcast or an interview in which they said that everything is pretty much factual and so people can learn history from it. From the game, I mean. Assassin's Creed Shadows is first and foremost designed to be an entertaining video game that tells a compelling historical fiction set in feudal Japan. It wasn't fiction just a little while ago, but okay. Our team extensively collaborated with external consultants, historians, researchers, and internal teams at Ubisoft Japan to inform our creative choices. What historians? If you mean Thomas Lockley, who has been proven to be trying to falsify Japanese history and changing official records, if those are your historians, then what are you trying to do? We continue. Despite these sustained efforts, we acknowledge that some elements in our promotional materials have caused concern within the Japanese community. For this, we sincerely apologize. You mean that when you stole a banner from a Japanese recrea historical recreation group and you didn't tell anyone about it and just apologize when you were caught red-handed? Do you mean by that? All game footage presented so far is in development and the game will keep evolving until launch. The launch is in a few months. What exactly are you gonna develop further? We also want to clarify that while we have been consulting with many people throughout the development process, they are in no way responsible for the decisions that are taken by the creative teams in the interests of gameplay and entertainment. Consequently, we respectfully request that any criticism not be directed at our collaborators, both internal and external. But you control all the information and all the ideas. Basically, those ideas go through decisions and they should be collaborated and they should be discussed with not only the creative teams, but with the actual historians that you allegedly involved in your game. While we strive for authenticity in everything that we do, Assassin's Creed games are works of fiction inspired by real historical events and figures. From its inception, the series has taken creative license and incorporated fantasy elements to craft engaging and immersive experience. The representation of Yasuke in our game is an illustration of this. His unique and mysterious life made him an ideal candidate to tell an Assassin's Creed story with the setting of feudal Japan as a backdrop. While Yasuke is depicted as a samurai in Assassin's Creed Shadows, we acknowledge that this is a matter of debate and discussion. 
not really a debate and discussion. Official documents do state that he was a retainer. So nice try to save, but you, it's li a little bit too late for that. We have woven this carefully into our narrative with our other lead character, the Japanese Shinobi Naoe, who is equally important in the game. Our do protagonists provide players with different gameplay styles. We greatly value your feedback and encourage you to continue sharing your thoughts respectfully. While we understand that meeting everyone's expectations is very difficult, we sincerely hope that when Assassin's Creed Shadows launches on November 15, players in Japan and around the world will appreciate the dedication, effort and passion we have poured into it. I mean, this is just a lot of words without you actually apologizing or telling anything. You have caused a whole country to rise up against you, even on their political stage. So this is just empty. The whole statement is empty. And I just wanted to point that out because this is not the main topic of the video. I want to quickly show you a post from Grums, who basically posted that that same apology, but in Japanese, and, and it's a bit a little bit different, has been community noted. And this is the community note. This is from the post itself and the community notes are for different parts of it. Here's the Famitsu.com article. This is the translation, although it states that the games in Assassin's Creed series are not made with the purpose of recreating historical facts or historical figures. In an interview, the development staff stated historical accuracy has been confirmed. It has all the information we need to reconstruct what Japan was like in the 16th century. It's well described. Conduct thorough research and compare the results with experts. He historical games, historical fidelity maintained. It faithfully depicts real historical figures and events of the time. Therefore, this message contradicts previous statements made by the development staff. I mean, what exactly did Ubisoft expect? Like that people will not look into as like they're looking at a microscope after all the uproar? I don't understand what their thought process was. You have official interviews stating that this is an accurate historical representation with a black samurai and everything else. Then you have the, the architectural and the in-game designs that are all messed up throughout the game. You have rap music in combat for Yasuke and you're claiming that this is a historical accurate representation of the game. And with this, I just want to drive your attention to the Ubisoft stocks market currently, which is set to five days. In the last five days, this actually was a little bit lower when I started the video. It was at 1827. I think we can actually see that. 18, 1829 from yesterday, 1832, 1828. So 1828 was the lowest that they got. This is the stock market for the last five days. And I just want to post this and to change it to one year. And you see the graph for one year. And if you see closely, the lowest that they were was 1984 euro at 18th of January. They had a little bit of a snag. 1999, 1942, okay, lowest. Then they go to 23.57 in a high rise in February. And then you continue a slow descending spiral with some ups right until now. That means that this is the lowest that they have been in the last year. And if we go to five years, we see something even more damaging. You can see this is in the last five years. This is 2019. This is a little drop in 2019. This is a rise, rise, rise. Good, good, good. This is 84.6 euro per stocks on 5th of February 2021. And after this, you get to the slow descent, slow descent, slow descent, slow descent. 2022, 2022 again, still much more than it is now. And then after that, you just get down and down. And I don't know if this was when Assassin's Creed Valhalla released. I'm not sure. However, this has been a spiral for the last almost like, I think, year and a half. And this is just keeps getting worse and worse. This is a, such a huge descent from 83 or 85.18 euro to such a rapid descent in just two years. This is basically the, the, hell every company doesn't want to get into because when you when your stocks fall at like in such a fantastic way in just two years then you you're you're losing credibility you're losing the confidence in your investors and in the public okay it dropped again you see <laughs> as we're talking this is life 
this is I'm 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 seeing it as it happens, and like this is minus seventy five point seventy five percent in the past five years, and this is not a short lived company that is having rapid growth and failure in the last five ten years that it has been active. This is a company that is spending for over for for almost for decades and having this decline in the last one sixth of their lifespan and having it so steady throughout the, the last year and a half just speaks that they're not making what they're supposed to be making they're not making people happy with their products keep in mind even when a company is down like this if they produce a hugely massively successful product that everyone likes their stocks will go up drastically and they might even return to their previous heights however when you do something that like ubisoft does when you try to basically lie to people and just cover your tracks and just do damage control this is not something that people currently are tolerant with especially fans especially people who wanted to play the game especially people who have waited for over a decade for a game based in japan and when you have that you don't you lose all confidence you have an entire country rising up against you including their politicians who are launching an official investigation into your misrepresentation and disrespect of japanese coach you should know better you're like this is not a young company this is a company that has been through thick and thin with the patience of history throughout a lot of years and this is a company that has a lot of games and a lot of different franchises that they operate and they should be a bit more aware of what things are and how to do it however if you hire dei consultants if you hire people who are just diversity hires and they don't know what they're talking about and you're if you hire fake historians who try to actively change the history of in this case japan then you're that's what you're gonna do but this is on you this is on ubisoft because they should have done their checks more thoroughly and the game will release on november 15th and it will not be cancelled it's probably not never going to be cancelled or delayed or anything however it will not do even half as well as it's supposed to do this is a supposedly triple a game a massive game that should be expected and waited for by a lot of people and nobody wants to play it especially people from japan they they just don't want to play it anymore and when you have a slow day on release day then you know you're pretty much fucked anyways this is all i have for today tell me what you think down in the comments would you buy this game would you play it do you expect it to be a failure or a success tell me in the comments please like share and subscribe and follow me on my socials and my patreon where i lay raise money for homeless animals thank you and stay fresh cheers